Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to my live stream on Facebook. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and I think that today's date is the 16th or 17th of September. Probably should have paid attention to the calendar a little bit before I uh, go into the date. It's been a very busy day. Been getting a lot of things accomplished at the house, getting ready for a big move next month, moving to a new place. <clears throat> and so, this is like my little, my little time to, uh, to regroup, rekindle. So I'm very grateful to connect to everybody today. This is the fifth day in this series dedicated to serving you directly, dedicating to helping you to understand the core root cause of an illness or health issue that you may have been experiencing. And it has been very positive. There have been a lot of people that have truly been grateful and appreciative of the response that heaven has given them. A lot of times the answers came from left field, unexpected places and conditions that might have been causing the source of the current illness. Dr. and Master Shah teaches the root of all success and all failure, including health conditions, is karma. And so I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah as well, because this allows me to be, uh, to speak in his words as best as I can, the wisdom that he has brought to humanity. The wisdom that everyone and everything has a soul. The soul of your heart. The soul of your brain. All the cells in your body have a consciousness. They have a soul. Everything is serving us. And our soul lives forever. Our physical presence does not. And so, when we take a look from the higher perspective of the soul, and we look that the physical presence that we have is a mirror representation of our soul's journey because our soul goes from lifetime to lifetime. We incarnate as a different personality each time. <clears throat> so whatever suffering we're having this time, whatever success we're having this time has a direct relation to the source of our choices in previous times not as the personality we are now. We could have done very unpleasant things that now we would be completely aghast by that couldn't even possibly think about hurting a soul or doing something horrible to somebody, cheating on somebody. I mean, there's just no way that we would do these kinds of things now. But that's what happens in previous times and we don't have the wisdom that we have now. So Dr. Master Shah's teaching is heal the soul first and the mind and the body will follow. The soul is forever, but it carries with it the messages of all lifetimes. And if that message is pain in the knee, because pain in the knee has been caused to others, then we heal the knee of the soul. And the physical knee at the human level changes. Heal the soul first, and the mind and body follows. This is the foundational teaching. Now there are about, uh, well, about 10 or 12 people that have come online and most of them already know that. That statement was not for those that know this. That statement is for all those that will watch us in the future so that they understand the value of a soul reading. What is a soul reading? A soul reading is connecting to the soul world. Everything has a soul. Your sore knee has a soul. It can tell you why it's sore. Everything has a root to cause, and that information is carried in the soul world, including in the Akashic Records. I am blessed as a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah to have received a, a very dedicated practicing format and blessings from this Master to open my spiritual channels to receive the authorities to access these records, and then also receive the authorities to offer uh, life-changing healing blessings that can literally remove lifetimes of suffering. So this is the nature of soul, 
how soul can heal. We are in the middle of what is called the soul light era. This started August 8, 2003. And it's a shift in the entirety of humanity. It's a shift towards the consciousness of soul because that's who we originally are. It's a shift towards fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. A lot of different verbiages, but the, the message is soul. And we are all moving towards that origination. So when we heal at that level, we are hearing at the root. And that's why when I or any of the worldwide representatives, any of Dr. Master Shaw's healers, use their soul transmission, that's why it works. And it works so well because it's addressing the root cause. So I want to acknowledge all those that have come online. Uh, Petra Marie, Healing, Cheryl, Healing Ray, Jota, haven't seen you in a while, Jota, great to see you. Ankisha, wonderful to see you as well. Don D, Jean, welcome Jean. Melissa, thank you so much for joining. And Chanel Lana Hart. Um, Dandis asked the question, root cause of Crohn's. Tatiana, um, I'll come to that in just a moment. Welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Suki. Welcome Tatiana. Welcome uh, Melissa again, I see you've asked a question, I'll come to that. Uh, Master Robin, welcome. Genevieve, wonderful to see you as well. And Pamela. So for all the new ones, please hit the share button. Um, let more people know about this. It's a great opportunity for people to become aware of how this can serve. Now I saw a comment there um, from one of, the, uh, one of the people I haven't met uh, myself, uh, Chanel, and she says, it's not working for me. I'm not quite sure what that means, but um, I'm happy to expand on that on an individual basis uh, to share with you, if you have tried soul healing, why it may or may not be working. Almost always it has to do with the level of karmic implications that are present at the moment, a lack of forgiveness, uh, and a lack of enough positive virtue to offset whatever is occurring for us. Because we know unequivocally that when you heal at the level of soul, then the mind and body will follow. Percentage of healing is variable depending on the individual that we're working with. So thank you all so much for coming. So I'm going to also offer blessings towards the end of this day. I have not offered those so far this week. I've just been focusing totally on doing soul readings. Um, because there were just so many people coming in, I wanted to make sure I took care of as many people as I can. Today I'm going to be offering some blessings. I might even choose somebody. Uh, I want to find somebody who has uh, pain. And um, I will check as to who I offer the blessing to. And I will use one of my transmissions to offer a blessing. I'll probably do that in about, uh, about 30, 35 minutes. Okay? All right. So Melissa... Ask a question. Let's see. Oh, Don D says, uh, root cause of my Crohn's disease. Okay. <clears throat> Dear the soul of Don, Don's heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, Arnie, respect you. I bow down to you as appropriate. You know what? We need to stop. I, ha I still have to call in all the holy beings. We haven't done that yet, so please bear with me. Through all layers of the divine, all layers of Tao, all layers of source. Through my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, we love you, honor you, respect you, I bow down to you. Can you please be present at this time? I'm deeply, deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to be your worldwide representative and to serve humanity in a very powerful and profound way. <coughs> I'm very grateful for all opportunities to open my spiritual channels more and I sincerely apologize to all souls in all lifetimes if I have not offered good service in this way. I ask that you assist at this time to keep uh, my spiritual channels open so that I am able to offer the highest and best and most accurate readings. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to please turn on in all souls and all universes to all those that come on to watch and all those in the future. I will ask this source soul song to help connect us heart to heart, soul to soul, that we can be of the greatest service in all times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you may close your eyes. This is a blessing as well when I chant. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, lula, lula, 
divine healing hands please offer a blessing to my telephone and the internet connection so that there's a trouble-free connection the remainder of this turn on stay on until the end of the live stream yeah. thank you thank you thank you see healing is great I can offer healing to the phone so that it uh, is trouble-free usually it works sometimes it gives me some resistance so for those that were wondering what was just chanting it's called the source soul song of love peace and harmony and um, it is by far the highest healing frequency on the planet today when it comes to music. Um, I'm going to ask Kristen, an incredible universal servant, to please post the link to download that song. And if you really want to make a difference in humanity, you can become a member of that organization. It's a nonprofit organization. And the song is actually sung in 28, 30 languages, something like that, around the world daily. So uh, not a small thing. Um, so please take advantage of, of this music because it will bring healing to whoever listens to it okay so now we can connect with Don I'm gonna acknowledge anybody else that came in right now um, welcome Pamela Dennis Lyles welcome Cynthia Marie welcome Jessica welcome Angie Taylor um, welcome Magdalene Norma uh, welcome Pat welcome Rianne welcome Kristen welcome Pamela Carmel uh, Kristen Strachan so thank you all for coming Okay, Don D's, Root Causes of Her Crohn's Disease. To the soul of Don, Don's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints who love you and respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. Could you please offer Don whatever information is at the root of her Crohn's disease? Thank you. How? for our beloved Dawn. The root cause of this stems from a lifetime in which as a different personality there was a choice made based on jealousy and that choice created a very unpleasant experience for those that this personality that you were at that time chose to cause harm to. It is important that we not focus on the original cause so much as become aware that there is a reason at the soul level. On the physical plane, it has come manifest as a disease that has this label. The original source is a virus. The I've got the name, I just can't spell it out. I'm trying to, trying to grab it. I 
Epstein-Barr virus is the original source. It is important for you to search out very specific healing that targets directly the boosting of immune systems, the leveling off of viral reaction, any and all natural product, herbs, etc., that are known to deal directly with viral activity. There are healing modalities that can address this directly, including the divine healing and transmission systems with direct focus it is possible to be completely in control of this condition in six months to a year there is great hope the success could be greatly dependent upon actualizing greater forgiveness and putting forth a plan that utilizes these suggestions how um, so you can you can um, message me later Don and give you a little bit more information on that okay <clears throat> so Tatiana I need a bit more specifics I'm doing uh, soul readings for very specific conditions and um, and Tatiana as you are a student cannot ask the same questions you've asked other divine channels because heaven could likely give you a false reading okay so Melissa Croman has asked what is the root cause of my chronic fatigue lack of energy and general inability to engage with life around me also if you'd be so kind as to offer suggestions for my father's digestive issues following esophageal cancer surgery which would be so very grateful okay to the soul of Melissa Corwin her heavens teams guides angels and saints love you honor respect you please be present at this time Please assist with this answer for Melissa. How? For our beloved Melissa, you have what it would be called heavy metal and mercury poisoning. This has brought a great deal of impact to your kidneys. The kidneys are extremely important for your overall energy levels and they are connected to the adrenals and so much more look at chelation based programs and alternative medicines to help extract these from your body this will take a great deal of load off of your system be very good about your diet and be aware that gluten will hurt the possibility of complete recovery your body has been actually done quite well considering the beating that it has been under but it is overtaxed at this time and you must forego old habits if you wish to fully sustain and regrow your health how for your father to the soul of her father her father's heavens teams the soul of the soul operation for the esophageal cancer <clears throat> and how it's impacting his health now for um, general inability to engage suggestions digestive issues hey <laughs> In the medical arena, little is known about the communication receptors connected to the digestive system tract 
the esophageal apparatus, its connectivity to the brain, and that connectivity to the digestive system. When this cancer was uh, extracted, there was also the removal of these mechanisms, these receptors that informed the digestive tract how, when, and how much to apply its acids, its enzymes, and its processes. For your father, with time, this has an opportunity to regrow. It is suggested that he consider supplements that assist in the digestive process because his body does not know when to release enzymes, for example. This will help him in the long run stave off the unhealthy byproduct of undigested food, food processes, etc. There is the knowingness that at the soul level a source cause is blockages at the throat, fifth soul house, and esophageal tract. There is a direct karma associated with this and of course it has brought to him this form of cancer. That karma still remains. It should be considered to have these blockages spiritually addressed. If that happens, at the soul level, a new throat, esophagus, etc. would manifest on the physical plane a faster regrowth of that which is currently not present. This is a possibility for him. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Jessica Smiley says, can I get a message for my son Quincy? He doesn't eat junk food, but still has a lot of allergies and digestive issues, developing a stutter <coughs> and intense anger. Do the soul of Jessica. Uh, think of your son, Jessica, please. Think of his name. Think of him. How? I am Jessica's son's soul. It is my greatest honor to speak to what would be known as my mother in this life. Thank you for taking care of me, for ensuring that I have the greatest possibility of a healthy life. There is an abscess below one of my teeth and this is causing a continual leaking of bacteria into my system. It is creating a great deal of havoc in the body that I am experiencing this life in. I also received through the vaccinations mercury and through the chemicalized water and foods heavy metals. My system, my liver is a bit overtaxed at this time and if you could make me healthy vegetarian organic liver cleansing soups and look at things that could chelate these metals from my brain then my reactions both digestionally and emotionally, mentally, would be substantially better. 
my liver carries with it a bit too many lifetimes of anger. And this one will require patience. Please teach me and the physical form forgiveness because there is a propensity of this being a lifelong challenge if my presence does not wake up to this. I am honored to share this information with you. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's unusual. I don't usually get a chance to have the son talk to the mother like that because the soul is, is, is very adult-like. You know, he, he's not like a, a little boy talking to the mother, like in the real world. It's like an adult talking to the mother. So it's, it's interesting to, to tune into that and speak that through. Okay. Uh, welcome, Angie. Okay. Okay, so Pamela Dennis Lies has said, I'm on oxygen with an enlarged heart since May. Any advice? Okay. To the soul of Pamela, Pamela's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, love you, only appreciate you, respect you. Uh, could you please advise Pamela any information at this time that can assist her with uh, what can assist her with her health recovery, additionally beyond what she's doing? And what may the source may be, if it's necessary for her to know. Any additional guidance as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Still waiting. Hey, uh, yeah, hey. How? This is Denise, is that right? Pamela Denise? Soul. My dear Pamela. I wish to say this in the most gentlest and loving way. On many levels, this has been self-created. You have subjugated yourself to be available to everyone else but yourself so that you can be loved, so that you can be accepted, so that you can be enough. There is the opportunity to heal your physical heart as well as bring forth greater oxygenation to your body by awakening to your true self. I, your soul, am the reason you are here. You are not a person having a little awareness of your soul self. You are the great unknown experiencing just a snippet of life. You and I are one in all things. This slice of life is very small, but you have allowed yourself to wander so far from the purity of the love that I and our beloved Creator is. You have allowed yourself to try to fulfill yourself from outside. This has created a severe lack. The enlarging of your heart, the lack of oxygen and other things are actually directly related 
to your separation from me and our beloved Creator. Truly and deeply, my beloved one, go into this awareness. Realign to me, realign to our beloved God. Ask and offer forgiveness to yourself for being less than you are, for accepting anything less than the highest and best for yourself. There is plenty of time to realign and strengthen your self-worth, heart, and other things. Do not look outside of you for attention through this illness. Step up to the plate. Love yourself. Solutions will come in cascades and waterfalls when you do. This is a self-lesson that must be learned in this life as this condition has followed you and I far too long. I love you. I am here to assist you. And I am so grateful to share this wisdom with you at this time. This is your soul. How? 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 Thank you. Thank, thank you. So thank you for the opportunity to share that. <coughs> okay. So Sarah... Sarah Penton, hi Master Paul. Can I please find out the root source of my acne problem? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh, yo. hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. How? <clears throat> there is two to three culprits at this time. There is over toxicity of your liver. There is a weakened immune system. There is a bacterial condition that is bouncing back and forth because it has not been able to be addressed with this combination. Your lungs also are carrying levels of grief and sadness that inhibit the full oxygenation and therefore the correct breathing in and out of your organ called the skin. Pay closer attention to purifying these major organs. Pay attention to very specific things in your diet that flare up this bacterial condition. There is a possibility that there is a staph infection at the level of the skin of the face. Search out solutions for these. There should be benefits. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so Suki says, Love Master Paul, in spite of my practice, the pain in my right shoulder is not going. Please guide me what practice exactly I should do. Um, doing forgiveness, chanting, sacred code 3296815. Okay. Yes, I've, I've spoken with you before, Suki. Let's see if there's any additional information at this time. for our beloved Suki.
it is not a lack of practice and heaven hears your request for forgiveness this has more to do with the level of service you are attempting to accomplish and the irritation caused to the darkness that is not so happy with your service there has been enough removed through your requests and through your practices that your shoulder could heal it will likely require either cupping and acupuncture along with soul dancing in which you truly follow your body's guidance and what I'm seeing, Sue, because I'm seeing you literally on the floor, sometimes pretzel-like, allowing your body to move your arm and your shoulders in such a way that things start to release. But I'm, I'm, I heard the, uh, the verbiage is after you do the cupping and the acupuncture. <clears throat> a healing and transmission system could, of course, serve this, but it is mostly an energetic blockage at this point this should serve you well how 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 thank you thank you thank you <coughs> okay uh, Pamela Master Paul I have been having some stomach pain all week and digestive system is off guidance on this and best thing to do There's a connectivity, Pam, with the, um, with the top of the shoulders and the abdominal region. Consider getting um, a good massage, including one that incorporates the abdominal area. Um, it's stress-related, and it's holding on to emotions, but it actually has some origination up here, and then it's holding on down here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, Patricia Dickinson, may I get a soul reading for the root cause of her eye condition? This is a very old root, Patricia. Um, it's really old root. It's, it's almost like other planet root. Um, and the message I'm getting is like there was a, like a pollution in the air um, kind of a thing as a result of wrong choices. It's very deep ancestral, goes way back. And, um, you know, a lot of people suffered uh, in the eyes. And that would explain why it's um, just slow and, you know, just carries on and carries on. There doesn't seem to be, a, 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 you know, an immediate um, solution to it. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it'd probably be of value to get the healing and transmission system. <clears throat> for the purpose of ensuring that the karma doesn't continue to follow. Um, you know, I'm hearing the saline wash will help, and that, um, but you may have to get, for example, cornea replacement, something like that, 
just to maintain uh, healthy vision because it goes so far back. That's what I'm hearing. How? Okay, so Master Paul, can I get a, a reading for stomach conditions? Thank you, Nirma. Okay, uh, Brigitte, I see your question next. Please post again with something very specific, okay? General, I, 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 it's just too, it's like too, too very vague. I need very specific things and then I can give you uh, some guidance, okay? Nirma, Master Paul, can I get a reading for stomach conditions? Thank you. For our dear Nirma, your stomach conditions are related to your inability to fully express yourself. You have had this ongoing and offgoing the majority of your life and it's related to your inner knowingness of your power juxtaposed against the cultural mandates of your chosen existence. This inability to express yourself, uh, to expose your power, to speak your mind and be heard is what is the consistent source. Our suggestion to you, dear one, is to find an alternative way to be heard and understood and honor yourself for making the choice to choose this life in this way with these conditions so that you could be a light for others to follow. This does not mean pushing against the existing conditions. What this means is loving and honoring yourself in the face of these and using other powers such as soul communication, forgiveness and other silent based soul practices that accomplish the same effect without the verbalization. You are a leader and you must teach other women how to lead in this way so that they too are not subjugated and pushed asunder by the cultural conditions of the day. This is your soul. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, welcome Tina, welcome Monica. <coughs> um, Jessica Smiley says her son wasn't vaccinated, was, wasn't unvaccinated. Uh, I'm not sure if that means vaccinated or unvaccinated. Um, he has mercury uh, in his system, so whether that's through uh, ingestation of some kind, through the water, um, but it's definitely showing up. Okay, Karen. Master Paul, thank you so much for taking the time to respond to me yesterday. I was surprised with much gratitude. May you continue teaching unconditionally. You're very welcome, Karen. Uh, okay. And so Bridget says, root cause for autoimmune disorder. Thank you, Brid Bridget, for um, clarifying. So there's three things going on that, that heaven is showing me. One is a, um, right back here in the back of the head and it's connected to the spinal column and it's connected to a viral activity. And what happens is the viral activity is, is um, creating havoc, of course, in the um, immune response. And it's created a blockage along the, along the spinal cord, spinal column in the communication process. And so the brain um, communication is sending out what it thinks is the right signals, um, but it's creating this cascade of this circle of um, an autoimmune response, like a, a, a fight response. And so the root, um, in terms of the physical body, is um, 
viral. And uh, as I mentioned to an earlier student, um, search out all things natural to, to deal with that. Uh, boost your immune system, boost your kidneys specifically. And um, um, there's a, a reasonable possibility you can get uh, better control over that. Okay? Okay, so Tatiana, uh, what is the root cause of her son's kidney disease? His name is Ruperto. For Ruperto, this family-based, ancestral-based karma has predicated in the formation of misformed genes and mitochondria and DNA. This root is from the beginning of his birth. It is something that his soul knew prior to coming in. And his soul wishes to resolve it this lifetime for the entirety of the ancestral tree. He has a great potential to become a great one in the field of medicines currently not known in today's environment. There is currently no known structure for rebuilding the gene pool save the soul healing and in his case should be done once a year as each blessing replaces the energy and matter which includes the layering back of the onion of the ancestral tree on higher levels and the equivalent of creating a new gene pool for the future if this is sustained for him, he has a great potential to achieve his soul's intention. How? I'd like to know who he is down the road. He has great potential to save a lot of lives. Okay. So Carol Skakel. Hi, Paul. Continued fatigue and chronic migraines. Any guidance would be so welcome. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, did the soul of Carol, uh, Carol's Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, the source of her continued fatigue and chronic migraines? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, ooh. How? For our beloved Carol, her adrenal system is quite overtaxed at this time. There is also weakness in the kidneys. There is a, uh, a blockage at the first vertebrae where the, the neck and the spine connect. A very specific adjustment there could create a great deal of relief related to the headaches. There is, additionally, food intolerances that are as a result of her body wishing to operate a lot more in the light. A, a big aspect of this is soul journey oriented. This is an opportunity 
to fully move into the person you wish to be, starting with a pure and clean diet and staying with that pure and clean diet regardless of the others around you that do not necessarily wish to be involved with that same diet. There should be a noticeable difference within one and a half to two months should this advice be followed. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I hope that assists you, Carol. Tina says, could you please share your guidance with my chronic shoulder pain? Okay. Suki and Tina, you are the proud winners of a sole operation for your shoulder pain. Prepare to receive. <clears throat> Please um, check in your pain. In other words, raise your shoulder. What's the pain level? What's it at now? Induce the, the most pain in that arena and then put your shoulder back down and relax. Dear, my TMI my TN, Crystal Light Ball Soul Operation Soul, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, bow down to you. Please offer a soul operation to Tina He and to Suki Singh for the respective arm and shoulder where the pain is. Offering whatever healing is most appropriate, the highest and best healing that can be offered at this time. Soul operation for these two souls as appropriate. Begin. Cut. Open. E At this time, both of their souls are bowing down to my spiritual father, Master Shah, and to the divine in deep gratitude for this opportunity. For Suki, there is darkness leaving along the, um, the back of the side of the shoulder, up the side of the rib cage, up over the side of the shoulder, along the neckline, locked across the top of the shoulder, and then back down along the arm on the underside of the arm, all the way down to the pinky finger. For Tina, Hers has an association to the front part of the body, up into the neck, across the top of the chest, top of the shoulder, and back down along the arm. For Tina, the original cause of this is blame of self for something. Guilt, definitely guilt something to do with a family member so you're holding on basically so that's being addressed for you we've already addressed Suki's source closing suturing smoothing over soul operation for Tina and Suki complete for Tina, there is approximately 125,000 Shen, Qi, and Jing, soul, mind, body, energy, and matter blockages removed. Had this not been addressed, it could have impacted your heart because of the nature of the holding on energy. You're very blessed. For Suki, this would have had the potential to spread to 
other areas of the neck down the spine, creating headaches and eventually causing the inability to serve the way you wish to serve. Although this has not been fully released at this time, there has been enough release to where you can follow through with the suggestions earlier and you could have substantially better results. There was approximately for Suki 220,000 Shen Qi Jing blockages released with this sole operation. Had it not been addressed at this time, there is a possibility that your soul journey could have been negatively impacted because of your inability to serve. You are both very blessed. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so that was what's called a soul operation. It's very good for pain, it's very good for emotional blockages. Quite a few things. I was offering it last week for all the chakras and the energy and matter channel. We had quite a few people taking advantage of that. Uh, soul operations are normal honor fee of only $75. So it's something that's quite affordable, considering we go to a chiropractor for 50 or massage for 75 or 100 even, and we only feel good for a week or two. So please, Suki, please, Tina, report your results. Before I was an 8, now I'm a 5. Before I was an 8, now I'm a 0. You know, whatever your number was before and after, I'm okay with no result. Don't lie. Tell the truth. Um, I don't do the healing anyway. God does the healing. Sometimes we have a miracle result. Sometimes nothing. Just do the best I can. So, uh, next week, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but I don't think I'm going to be doing live readings like I did this whole week. I'll probably move back into a structure of uh, healing and blessing and teaching, and we'll have to follow uh, guidance as we go. Everybody is more than welcome to contact me directly. You can uh, email me at asoulhealer at yahoo.com, A-S-O-U-L, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. That's also my uh, website, asoulhealer.com. And um, right above my video here is also clickable information. And if you wish to follow me, just hit the follow button in the upper right corner of this video. So I'm deeply honored for all of the people I had time to, to chat with. I deeply apologize to all those I have not had time to answer. Um, Facebook gives me an hour. I'm surprised they haven't cut me off yet. But um, I will see you all next week, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. 10 a.m. Australian and 5.30 a.m. in the morning in India. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to serve you and I will see you very soon. All right, bye-bye.